Throughout Call of Duty history, there's been a ton of challenges that we see year over year, but very few stand the test of time as being the hardest challenges ever introduced into the franchise. Today, we're going to take a look at a handful of challenges that definitely work their way into that category of the hardest challenges ever introduced into Call of Duty. If you've done any of these, you're in the elite few and absolutely have bragging rights. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Firstly, have you heard of any of these challenges? Have you completed any of them? And is there anything that you think is maybe a tough challenge that deserves to be on this list of the top hardest challenges of all time let me know down below but as well if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things call of duty we're on that road to 400 000 subscribers and if you'd like to join the community i'd love to have you but said let's jump into the list of the hardest challenges in cod history start with one of my personal favorites that being the so nuclear challenge within this year's black ops cold war and actually it was in black ops 4 as well but it was changed we'll get to that in a second as for the so nuclear challenge, this is a dark ops challenge in Black Ops Cold War. The task is with getting a nuclear with 21 different weapons within Black Ops Cold War. Matchmaking makes that nearly impossible with skill based keeping players as close to even as they can. Most of those who will complete this I'd wager either have reverse boosted in some capacity or done something to alter the matchmaking. But inherently, this in and of itself is just something that is a crazy task. Again, coming back to it, it was such a crazy task that in Black Ops 4, it was actually changed due to the nature that the challenge was considered too hard or too out of reach for that game, which again, bear in mind, didn't have skill-based or attention-based matchmaking. So it was entirely obtainable or at least to a more reasonable degree. In Black Ops 4, that challenge known as Gemmed Out was then changed to activating the highest tier of Dark Matter camo, a 30 kill streak with every primary weapon. But the reactive properties of the camos like Dark Matter in Black Ops 4 were only reliant upon kill streaks for a little while, and then after that adjustment, we're simply just getting 30 kills with that primary weapon. So if you had Dark Matter on it, it made it incredibly easy by comparison, something you do in 25 games of domination or less. But as for this so nuclear challenge, well, it might not be one you ever obtain within Black Ops Cold War, or at least to that 100% legitimate degree. Another one within Black Ops Cold War that is now a new one here is that of the Dark Ops Master. This, there's actually three categorizations of it. One for campaign, one for multiplayer, and then one for zombies, each of which coming along with their own Dark Ops challenges. For Black Ops Cold War's sake, I'd say that campaign is probably the easiest to obtain this in simply because there's not as many challenges for this, but also they're relatively reasonable challenges, just some puzzle solving required and some hunting within campaign levels. For multiplayer, that of course also means getting that so nuclear challenge, but also a whole host of other challenges relating to multiplayer. Same with zombies, a lot of which just takes a lot of time in that fashion but it is something that if you complete that and you end up getting that specific challenge for dark ops master in campaign multiplayer or zombies you've completed one of the hardest challenges within cod history another one talking about the black ops franchise moving along to number three here is that of the blackout historian challenge this is something that within black ops 4 tasked with unlocking Reznov, mason woods and menendez which at the time of launch was actually a lot harder than it was as time progressed though it is still something that is tedious and takes a little bit of luck and also a little bit of skill mixed in there with some challenges having been adjusted but still relating more so on luck for finding the item that is required to keep in your inventory plus the luck of having to do things like get extreme long shots which i think is like 200 meters or something like that with a sniper for the Reznov challenge so there's a lot of luck based elements that go into it that don't often guarantee you the opportunity to even unlock these the next challenge rolls the clocks back a little further and goes back to the previous game of call of duty world war ii this being the one of the lucky few challenge in the campaign this ends up seeing you in that very first mission where you storm the beaches of Normandy. It tasks you with ending up breaching that seawall in under two minutes, but without taking any damage whatsoever. Now, this is something that, especially in the higher difficulties, becomes something of an impossibility, though there is a way to kind of cheese this or kind of find a loophole with this. Apparently, it ends up resetting the timer where if you take damage, you can end up restarting from the last save checkpoint, and so therefore kind of creating an infinite time possibility with it, though that could have been adjusted. That's how it was way back at launch of Call of Duty World War II. But it was something that, again, just that sheer task 
was so daunting that not many ended up completing it. After that, we're going to go over again to a game further back in the past, this one dealing with Black Ops 3, the challenge No One Will Believe You, which was a hidden achievement and trophy for completing the campaign, but on realistic difficulty. Realistic difficulty was the first of its kind here within campaign difficulties, in which that it meant any stray bullet or any explosion would kill the player, making it perhaps the hardest campaign difficulty ever introduced in the Call of Duty franchise. And thus, by completing it on this difficulty, you are one of the elites in that, as the challenge would say, probably nobody would believe you. Also jumping to Black Ops 3 once again here for a final challenge before we dive into the classics of Call of Duty, the last couple of challenges to discuss here in this video, is the Personal Decorator Challenge. This one was so daunting of a task that not many ever completed it, just by simply how much you had to do associated with this. The Personal Decorator Challenge saw you getting 12 medals that you had to earn, including the Master of Arms, Dedicated to Excellence, Armament Superiority, Heroic Service, Legendary Service, Service, Immortal Fame, Chronicler, Above and Beyond, Duty Calls, Tried and True, Grim Reaper, and the Full Honors Medals. For this, that ended up requiring you to, in that same order, earn all campaign weapons, attachments, and camos by picking them up and inspecting them to fully upgrade all your cyber cores, unlock and purchase all weapons, lethals, tacticals, and cyber combat abilities, fully upgrade all your cyber cores, complete the campaign on veteran difficulty setting, complete the campaign on the then realistic difficulty setting, adding on top of that no one will believe you challenge, then complete every mission in the game at least once on veteran without restarting from a checkpoint, locate all of the collectibles in the campaign, complete all accolades for all missions, complete all campaign challenges, earn a score of 35,000 in the training simulator, neutralize 2,000 hostiles, and earn all campaign decorations. Now, that in and of itself, you take one of those challenges, and that's a huge task in and of itself. But then adding them all together and having to complete all of them, that then earns you the personal decorator challenge, and perhaps maybe one of the most daunting challenges, if not the most daunting challenge in all of COD history. Moving then from Black Ops 3, time jumping a couple of years then to perhaps what may be one of the greatest Call of Duties in general, we're going to round out this video with the Modern Warfare 2 challenges. Firstly, the Drop in Crates challenge. This one ended up tasking with getting a game-winning kill cam in Team Deathmatch by dropping a care package crate on an enemy, securing that final kill in a team deathmatch with a potential near impossibility of getting a kill in that fashion. Personally, for me, back in the day, I know that I had 20, 30 days or something like that played on Modern Warfare 2, and I only had a handful of kills with the care packages to begin with. But having one as a TDM game winning kill cam, I can't say that I ended up getting that. If, like many, I hadn't joined a random game and it turned out to be an infected lobby that was an unlock all back in the day, I'd never have that calling card. Another challenge that is perhaps one of the toughest in COD history is that of the Dictator Challenge from Modern Warfare 2. This one tasked with shooting and landing every single shot of a magazine with an LMG on an enemy. Now, most LMGs are high capacity, so there's a lot of shots without missing. Plus, also, you had to then hit every single shot, which then would prompt a reload. So, absolutely an incredible marksman challenge. If you end up getting this one legit, you go down in COD history. Now, the final challenge here that we'll talk about is that of the spinning 10th prestige emblem, the one that will probably live in the most infamy in all of Call of Duty history. Now, for those of you guys that have seen this before, we actually detailed this, I think, two or three years back, a full in-depth breakdown of this. It's only available via modding. It was supposed to be something that was available via in-game challenge, but whether caught inadvertently in a patch in the game that knocked it off course, or it was never properly connected to the challenge set, it never actually made it to be an available challenge in-game. What it was initially intended to be was the AK-47 Veteran 4 challenge for completing 1,000 headshots with the AK-47. But again, that challenge never actually made it to a live environment, thus then locking off that challenge entirely for the rest of the legitimate game cycle. Though again, it is available via modding, and so therefore you may see it abundantly within Modern Warfare if you go back today, but it is something that never actually had its true moment in the spotlight. But that said, that is the hardest challenges within Call of Duty history. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Is there any that you think we may have missed here? Any that you think may be worthy of being in this list? Or do you just disagree with some of these here? Do you think some of these may actually be easy? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video 
video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you get subscribed. Don't miss a single thing relating all things Call of Duty related, anything relating to Warzone, Cold War, and anything in COD history. We'll keep you the day with all of it. So if you guys are interested, hit that subscribe button. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get Kekman set on YouTube. Break live on both those. So if you guys want to start a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. But said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.